Hi everyone. Hope uh, you have a read uh, the something about the unit testing, and uh, probably now you have a little bit brief about the unit testing. After the unit testing, we are trying to use unit test with the help of PHP unit testing for only for the PHP. So now, quickly share my. I am going to share my screen. And just will do this small recap. What we are going to do today? So, just we are we will make a small uh, uh, program where we will write the PHP unit test. So let's make from the scratch. What today uh, we will cover, we'll try to write a basic, very basic uh, the unit test case for the PHP program. Also, we will try to write the complex code uh, for the unit testing as someone asked me to write uh, uh, for the API. So we will try to write uh, PHP unit test case uh, for the API responses from where we will get the 200 or something like this. Then we will cover uh, the code coverage. So here, uh, now, so we have first we have to write the program. Uh, for that, we have to write the test cases. So for the very basic, I'm making a the addition subtractions the numerical operations things so let's in between if you have any confusion so please so we are going to write a class Uh, please correct me if I am going. Uh, I am making any kind of mistakes, and you noticed while writing a program. So this is the our program in which class we are going to test this two small functions via php unit testing so now what we have to do first we have to install the yesterday i have given the three steps basically uh, the step number one we have to install the php unit test so i'm going to copy this is the command Installing by a composer. Now, so this will take uh, about a couple of minutes. In between, uh, 
we just check the steps and then we have to create a test folder under the test folder we have to write our the test cases and the step third we have to write the configurations file the php configurations file we'll try to run our program without the configurations file let's see what is happening so from there we can find many options So do you see the dependency is being created, the vendor file, the JSONs inside the vendor, you can see the PHP unit, all those things. In between, let's create. So our PHP unit <coughs> has installed. As you can see, we have a created only the calculator and test folder. Other folder is being created with this command. So now I'm going to run the PHP unit test. Let's see what is happening. Because we have installed, we want to see. So when you run, so you find the n number of options along with so they were expecting something else from us so we have to create php unit.xml If I am making mistake, any syntax error, please stop me. Now PHP. It's a quite the standard things, uh, uh, the PHP unit XML. This is the configurations file. So here we have to provide the locations vendor, vendor, autoload.php. And some more options we uh, provide, like if you want our output, uh, like some the colors not black and white so you can get all these options from here also the list of all the things what we have to use in the configurations or not
I'm going to make one more options stop on failure. Now we have to mention the taste suits. We have to. Uh, we can name anything. So uh, with this blocks, our unit test will run from where we have to run our test. Like uh, I mentioned the else. And here we have to provide the locations. Our locations, we will write our test cases under the tests folder. So that's it. So now now I'm going to run these things. Let's see. You you miss the directory syntax in oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Thanks. HP unit, HP unit, t directory. Could not hurt signals from the history. Okay. Okay. So let's create some test cases inside this. And uh, our test cases have uh, some naming conventions. Uh, I'm making a file called calculator. Test.php. You come up, let's see. And now. And we have to extend these files. Uh, and this case of work small. So now we have to write some functions to test this. And uh, we have also naming conventions like uh, the function's name should start with the test. So we have to test this class.
so here we have to include in this file calculator So Addition functions expecting parameters, and now <laughs> there is uh, some assertions uh, which will test like uh, lots of assertions uh, for reference. I'm giving this link here. Lots of assertions. But for now, I'm going to check the assertions equals. This dot search. Equals. And now the parameters, what we are expecting and what we are getting. Oh, the test editions are fine. So, this file also. The name, oh, oh the name calculator, fine. And three tests and is sweets element is three the configuration did not pass the validations PHP uh, unit attribute stop on and your If we need to strap auto validation, to another color stroke. This Oh, for taste suits under the directory. Okay, Is as expected. Maybe I have made some mistake. Let me copy PHP unit from here. In the configurations file which I have made earlier. Thank you. 
still there is some error. And okay. Test case not on. Okay. PHP unit. Ah, this one I have made wrong. PHP unit. Remember, test case. Yes. So our one test is passed. Uh, the naming conventions is, and the uh, like uh, it's the caps. The naming conventions is must. We must have to use the naming conventions properly. So here you can see uh, in the configurations file lot. Uh, like suppose colors. If I make false. Then it's the black and white output. OK, so these are the things, many parameters here. I have uh, uh, given uh, the uh, reference links. From there, you can get the configurations setting. Under that, uh, there's lots of parameters. Now. I'm going to make one more functions and check the subtractions. Only two will cover, and then we'll jump uh, into the code coverage and the API, all those things. All the subtractions. Uh, here, uh, the two test cases, let our colors back. So here you can see the two test cases has executed. So uh, here one questions from my sides. So in this file, we have a two functions, and we run the command. All the two functions get executed. But my question is this. I want to run only one function. So what command I have to write? You can give the fil hyphen hyphen filter. Filter equal to end the function name. Exactly, 100% true. So here you can see only one. And yesterday I have told you we have another annotations, the group. So we can also use the group. And uh, suppose we want all the test cases which belongs to this test suites. So for that, we have to use. So you can see the calculator tests have two. Uh, one is the additions, one is the subtractions. The two test cases has executed and both have run. This is the very basic I'm sure everyone has installed. Just for a recap, I took this. So, so far, uh, anything uh, if you want to uh, discuss or ask, so you can please. Otherwise, we have to move in our original one. The 
we'll uh, then we'll see the code coverage and one thing's the api call so should i move yes thank you I'm using the git bash uh, command line. So I think this is quite easy to use. Let me show you what I have written in this group. So I'm trying to fetch the all banks, which is which has the product type, some specific product type. So, and you already know if we don't want to use the group, then we can also use the filter the same output now i am quickly going to i have made a functions uh, to rendering the api so i took this api for the testing purpose so i'm going to ping in group so for that you can also use this i'm going to show you only the get method so as in the same way with the object i'm going to call this the get user from the api so very simple uh like just i have a call and return the response and in the response i am checking if the status code is 200 then it's pass if not 200 then this will return the fail and others like assertions are many type of assertions is like assert array has key if this array has the support if this array is greater than zero so all those things so i am quickly running this api to see and i will move to the code coverage So do you see we get uh, all three assertions passed so it's the simple as we are writing the functions so anyone want to say anything about this api yesterday someone has asked to write this can you please go to the second page i mean that uh, uh, i mean that api bank uh, i just take that in one line you return the ob start so what is the reason for that yes 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 ob start i have written for each functions because it's the session things uh, like before uh, uh, is this functions here it's no use here it's no use ob start you don't need to use this as you know here here no use as you see this there is a setup and tear down functions 
so i believe lots of our uh, the existing quad functionalities they are uh, using the sessions things and cleaning things so that's the reasons i have used the ov start nothing more specific on this front nothing okay. more specific. okay got you thank you uh, so the same manner if you have uh, the post or any method you can uh, use here now <clears throat> I'm going to show you the code coverage. Let me check one thing. Test folder. Open. So here you can see the I have written the code co uh, coverage HTML. You can take output from many format, uh, like uh, you can take from the XML format, from the HTML format, the PHP format. In fact, all those format options is available here. Now I'm going to. Uh, here I have written the controller. It means this will scan each and every controller mentions in the file. Mentions in the folder. And where the code coverage is nothing, just analysis how much code is being tested. It's the very simple, like uh, in the code coverage dashboard, we can uh, see uh, which file is get covered in the unit testing and what line of code, which line on which is not covered in the this unit testing and which get covered. So I'm going to show you once the report get generated. This will take a little bit time. As squad have lots of controller. Uh, yeah, so it's done. So I have a mentions. Our report will generated under the tests report. So I have to. The report is being generated. So particularly, I have used the bank controller. So see the bank controllers. So only one function is being covered, and constructors always be get covered. So you can click here see what line of code is being covered you can uh, see this has not covered this has not covered and now this is the template wise uh, uh, the particular controller you want to see all the report <laughs> so it's the dashboard.html once you run so you can see the all statics like how much the how many classes how much coverage all the complexity although quad have a many so i have covered the only small function so that's the reasons you are seeing everyone everywhere zero 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 So these are the analysis dashboard dot html. Now so I have a one questions here. Uh, no, so before that, uh, like now I'm going to Let me remove this. 
otherwise this will take lots of time if i will run these things they will write in the same file this will take lots of time so here we have a run for the particular group and now uh, as you know we can also generate for the entire test cases Here you see only the bank controller. Perhaps I have a three controllers here. Under the unit testing, I have a three controller. And only the test docs is a command. This will execute all uh, the controller, whatever written inside the test folder so any reason can anyone tell me why this is executing only one file so exactly these things i want to show you so where our configurations play role Here, the under the test suites, if you mention the particular, any particular, then this will, if I remove this, then look what will happen. Still surrendering only the bank control. No. That's been said. This will also render the entire folder. Call me up the sorry. Ha. So here we have available all the states. Count over the one Go to the. I'll go to the back of the shop phone. Okay. Second. Thanks. 
Test case. Test. Process isolation is great. Yeah, this is running. Here you can see eight test case has run, one failed, and six days. So one more time. Bank controller is running there. Yeah, delete bank, have error, no problem. Bank API success. The question controller, one question save. The workflow controller, get the questions best. So you see, uh, here I want to make a point. Here, all our text files get executed. So if, suppose I want to run only one file, I have a scene, we have a scene, we can run one functions with the help of group, many functions with the help of group. We can run one test cases with the help of filter. But suppose we have to execute one file at a time and we haven't used the annotations, the group annotations, each and every functions, then what is the mechanisms we can run? So we have a creator, different. Now I'm going to create a one other six. 
and tests. Need the pen controller. Name of so this will execute only one file, which is mentioned under this cell. This way. So here you can see this has executed only this. And the same way we can, uh, we have the code coverage. It's the code is test suite coverage HTML this. Here, any, whatever the uh, folder you want to mention like model, a controller, anything. So this will execute entire the folder. So this is the test uh, unit test with the code coverage. Any specific questions from anyone? Yes. Basically, when we execute the test cases, then I just need to know the what are the uh, bugs are and we can debug, right? Then basically, why we're using the code coverage reports? Basically, it generates the report, right? And we can yes. see the complexity and we can see the what are the functionality are go like overall yes. executed during the unit test correct so through the code coverage what like what would be our next step using our like questions so, yeah okay. i understood i understood your question so your uh, questions is like why we use the code coverage and what yes. is the advantage of code coverage yeah. so like how this will help us how this will make our life easy yes so suppose uh, like uh, in a particular project uh, like uh, five people is uh, working same times you have uh, made a uh, one kind of modifications and run your code coverage so you find yes the five controller is being covered and two controller is not being covered uh, uh, which has uh, like later modified so now you will check the your unit test cases and the executions why this get not covered if you have missed any functions for the particular like suppose you have made changes i have also made a changes i make a particular functions and you are running your unit testing with the help of group i forgot to provide the annotations the group annotations so when you run the code coverage so you can find yes so probably three file missed three, our unit case has not covered for the three files so now you can go that files and try to modify or you can check your unit test cases and try to modify so next times your code will get covered and suppose like you have made any particular conditions inside the functions so you are running the test cases, but never the block get executed. Suppose uh, like you have a written uh, functions, uh, which is coming based on if the name is Sunil, then the particular block should run. So when the test cases run, so someone not putting the Sunil, so that code is not running. The block of code is not running. So when you see the code coverage report, so you will see this. The particular code is not running. The particular code is not get covered in the unit test. 
so you can uh, narrow down your search oh like i have to also focus only the particular things why this get not covered this is the main advantage okay okay and one more thing like you said when you saw the cover coverage report there is a complexity level right so here what are the complexity level that means what terms we are using here uh in the code coverage itself uh, i'm not 100% sure in this but uh, this code coverage have own kind of parameter to calculate the complexity let me quickly generate the report so we can see One minute. Let me run this. Oh, it's running. Oh, sorry. but it's not a code coverage code. The PHP unit have owned kind of uh, some logic. Uh, I, even the logic, uh, I don't explore uh, the logic. What is the logic behind this? And uh, in what? Yes, uh, there is uh, something. Uh, there is a uh, one logic. Suppose uh, your code contains a thousand line of uh, code. And in thousand line, your code is being covered only 900 line. So it's the 90% code coverage and the complexity level, how this is, like, let me check one more time. I'm sure about the complexity level. So while uh, running, uh, the process isolations, this was a false. So we were uh, getting the error. So this was uh, not running entire the test cases. Process isolations, this will run one at a time in the configuration front, like color, like the stop on failure if you put this for a uh, true so whenever the test case will failure the entire process will get terminated so there were uh, many options which you can uh, find in the reference website oh the code has generated as good
the complexity uh, logic i don't know how uh this is an uh, what is the logic behind the complexity the coverage distributions we understood insufficient this understood the project risk we understood the complexity i don't know uh, the logic behind the complexity what the logic they are uh, a php unit test is using but we'll check and get back to you. Anything else? No, thank you. It's okay. Uh, so, yeah. so, so now, uh, like, uh, we are uh, winding up. So uh, can anyone tell me why we have to use the uh, PHP unit? test cases and the co coverage anyone as we know uh, everything have advantage and disadvantage so like uh, what is the main advantage why we should use the php unit and definitely uh, uh, for the countering this why we should not use the php unit first anyone can tell me why we should use the php unit and the second why we should not use the php unit hi manish uh, yes uh, basically yeah. it's a uh, it's definitely a necessary to use uh, php unit test cases because it's give us a more control over the individual code block and uh, okay. the small blocks you mean say uh, yeah small blocks correct yeah if we use the annotations of the groups otherwise by the help of filter so we can reach the very minute level yes yes, yes sorry uh, sorry go ahead carry on uh -huh. yes sorry to interrupt no uh this is the thing or uh, oh. it's easy to uh easy to identify the mistakes and the defects uh at the code level yeah so uh, sometimes it saves lots of times of developer like uh, suppose you have uh, made some changes and this will not get covered uh, uh, you have uh, tested only your own in the manual test but when you run the unit test cases so this will get covered my code as well so if you found no you have a uh, covered your coding is covered for only yours conditions not mine so you can easily figure out and make the changes without any delay right right yeah so basically this is the great help so it's the time saving and uh, suppose uh, we are uh, working in the mission mode and launch some product and then after we find oh we have uh, some error and the, we have lo wasted lots of time on debugging from where the error is reproducing so this kind of problems will solve with the help of using this this is the main advantage so the same things i have a tabulated here almost the uh, seven uh, advantage and uh, now anyone can tell me the disadvantage of php unit why we should not use the php unit Definitely, everyone have advantage and disadvantage both. We can see in the same perspective. I am a developer. I am responsible for doing the code. Why should I do the testing? This will take extra effort. I don't want to be put the extra effort. So this took lots of time, initial setup time, additional maintenance, false positiveness. Like yesterday, uh, one of the folks asked the question, suppose uh, during the unit test, we have uh, inserted lots of demo data, how we have to remove this, then we have an extra set of headaches to removing all those data. So this took some uh, uh, some time and effort as well and uh, 
like more complex cases uh, we are sometimes we are unable to do the unit testings suppose if the functions have a lots of dependencies on third party like uh, there is a functions when the api call i have made the api call on the best of the api call we have the uh, different based on different different like whatever the output we are getting we have a based on that output uh, the nested functions whenever we are using the nested process then unit test sometime to an effort so these are the basic uh, disadvantages of the unit testing uh, i think uh, uh, now we have a like uh, at least uh, the enough confidence so we can uh, write the uh, small unit test cases so please uh, correct me if i'm right i hope everyone can write the now unit test case yes yeah so thank you for that so if anyone have any questions uh, please uh, ping me and uh, like uh, uh, someone asked me uh, the questions the how the php unit test calculate the complexity so uh, I, I i will come up with this i will come up with this and try to find myself and we'll get back to you any more questions please If not, then we can wind up this meetings here. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if anyone have still any questions, so feel free to ping me. Uh, my email ID is manish.kumar at the rate of learning mate. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Manish. Manish, one yeah. request, please share the uh, uh, recordings. recordings to us yes yeah. nice everybody thank you yeah same manish yeah yeah thank you bye bye thank you bye bye